Hey everybody, this is Ron with Happy Homes with the walkthrough video tour of 1323 South Edgewater Drive on the intercoastal waterway of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, this is, it's not the whole home for rent. It's a, a garden apartment downstairs of the lovely home that you see in front of me. Um, I'm starting out at the street here. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. This neighborhood is in West Ashley. Um, west of the Ashley River, uh, probably about five minutes drive to downtown Charleston. Um, nice quiet street and a lovely neighborhood uh, that sits right on, you know, one of the main waterways here in Charleston. Um, you know, so you'll be able to sit out back. I can't wait for you to see the lovely views that await. Um, but I just wanted to show you there's a, there's a nice wraparound driveway to access the property here. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and kind of show you around. You can see there's a, a drive that goes off to the side here. Uh, it's likely that uh, that would be utilized for your parking, but you can also, you know, have this turnaround space uh, coming into the entryway as well as a, a large parking pad here, you know, to turn around and maneuver. Um, but as you can see here, I'm sorry about the sun coming in. There's a three car garage. Uh, the owner is going to retain access to that and the upstairs of the main house. Uh, the entire downstairs is what is going to be the rental unit for this property. And I can't wait to show it to you. Let's go ahead and head inside here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there is some stairs here and, and the landlord at this property is the um, wonderful lady that lives upstairs and uh, we will connect you to her once uh, we get an approved applicant for the property. But um, I'm going to show you all the wonderful things that this property has to offer. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. I did want to um, go ahead and point out that um, the home as you'll see, you know, in the kitchen stuff, you know, some of the utilities uh, and uh, appliances are, you know, not fully updated. You know, they're somewhat dated, but at the same time, uh, I think you'll <clears throat> agree with me as a whole that it's a really lovely home with lots to offer. So let's go ahead and take a look around. So first of all, coming into the property here, let me pan out a little bit. You have this uh, little foyer area, a nice hardwood floors um, that transition into the living spaces, but you can see it immediately uh, segues into this lovely kitchen. Beautiful shiny tile floors here. Uh, here's what I was mentioning with the appliances, a uh, little bit older stove, um, you know, older dishwasher, but I'm told everything is functioning and works great. Um, cabinets here as well, <clears throat> lots of cabinet space. Uh, even over this side, you've got space for, you know, some spices and a, a spice rack uh, with some shallower um, cabinets. But over here, another full set of cabinets and uh, like a buffet area for food prep and whatnot. So lots of space in here in the kitchen. Um, one of the things that I love about this home is, you know, because it is part of a larger home, uh, there's lots of bonus areas. We have this little... Um, Toaster oven corner here with a movable cart. Um, that's certainly going to be helpful. But the kitchen, as you can see, segues into this large room. Uh, that door right there appears to have an, an old pet door. I'm not sure if it's functional, but uh, I don't think we're doing pets here, so it's irrelevant. Uh, but you have this lovely, very bright, uh, shiny room that's a bonus room. It could be a bedroom if you needed it to be but uh, it would make a nice office or playroom, what have you. Uh, lovely space here. Um, and then the same thing here. This is kind of a, a transitional room that comes in from the garage. Uh, it also has a set of steps that go up to the main house, but you know they're locked at the top. So, But for the most part, this is a rather large area that you could use if you needed to for a home office or what have you. Um, it has this beautiful window here that uh, lets a lot of natural light in. So if you need an extra space, you have it here. Um, and there's just some utilities in these closet here. Um, 
but you know, even if you needed extra storage space, there's lots of it here in this home. We haven't even looked at the three bedrooms or the living and dining room yet, and you've seen uh, quite a bit of the extra space that's available. Let's go back to the entryway here, because I want to show you how lovely this is as you transition into the living room and, and the dining room area. You've got two overhead pendant lights. Excuse me, I feel a sneeze coming on. I apologize for that. But um, beautiful, large dining room that looks out off of the back, uh, onto the back patio areas. There are two large patio areas that kind of go um, on both sides, and I can't wait to show you those here in a minute. But you have this little sunken living room here. Uh, it drops down. Um, I love how this is wide open. Uh, if you wanted to do any entertaining or hanging out with family and friends, uh, there's lots of space here to do it. And a beautiful window to take advantage of the views. Let's just go ahead and take a peek at that so I can tease you with what's in store here in a minute. <clears throat> And what you see out there, first of all, is a nice covered patio area, but also a very rapidly flowing uh, intercoastal waterway. Uh, again, one of the main pass-through uh, rivers that, uh, you know, shoot off of Charleston Harbor. Okay, here we go. This hallway goes down to the three bedrooms. Um, and so this is a three-bed, one-and-a-half bath. And so let me show you all of these here. You have a nice um, spacious, it looks appears to be about a 12 by 12 or 12 by 14 um, bedroom. This is right off of the living room areas. And you've got a full closet here with French doors. And then between these two bathrooms, you have, uh, sorry, between these two bedrooms, you have the full bath here. And let me go ahead and show you that since we're right here. A nice towel rack here and uh, another lovely little rack in the corner there. Beautiful cabinet and mirror to match. Uh, some more towel hooks on the wall there. A window that looks out into the front of front yard area and then a large jacuzzi tub here and the jets do work on the jacuzzi tub and here's bedroom number two this is a considerably larger bedroom as you saw, you know, coming off of the hallway here, uh, it also takes advantage of these extra few feet uh, that are incorporated into this room. Uh, so probably more like 12 by 16 for this spacious bedroom. This is a probably a 9 by 12 area rug in here. So it's it's pretty pretty large room. And you have a full-size closet in here as well. And those were the two smaller bedrooms. This is the master suite with, of course, lovely views of the backyard. And we're going to head out that door in a minute. But let me just go ahead and show you around here. The French doors opens up to an interesting kind of double-wide closet with uh, considerable hanging space in there. And then here we have, hi everyone, we have um, a nice little half bath so you would have access to a bathroom, you know, coming off of the master suite with um, some cool mirror around that area. Okay, sorry about the quick pan there. I hope I didn't make anybody dizzy. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. Oh, this would be horrible to wake up to every morning, wouldn't it? Grab your coffee, come sit in the rocking chair, listen to the birds. Gosh, I'm not sure you'd spend any time inside. Let's just take a look around, shall we?
This is a large eating picnic table and this sits right off of the dining room area right there. And this is that bonus room uh, that we were talking about that has the pet door. It, it does look like that is sealed off. Uh, but again, not that it matters. But hey, how about this lovely seating area here to take advantage of the views of the waterway. Don't even need to talk when you have views like this, right? So this is what I was saying that that opens up to, um, gosh, I can't think of the, the Stono River over there. And then over here you have, that goes into the Ashley River and then of course the Charleston Harbor uh, that way. And a nice, lovely view of the main house from here. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for today. I want to thank you for watching. For more information on this property, please visit our website at happyhomespm.com or give us a call at 843-608-8845. Thanks for watching.